The inter-Burundi dialogue is set to resume after being suspended more than four times since last year. The government says that it will not engage with some opposition leaders whom it accuses of being behind the failed coup last year. Moses Javier Imana reports from Bujumbura. Burundi has been hit by political crisis since last year after the incumbent president Pierre Nkurunziza publicly announced he will seek for another term in the office which the opposition said was unconstitutional. Efforts have been done including the international community to put an end to the crisis through inclusive dialogue. Burundi President Pierre Nkurunziza last year formed the Inter-Burundi Dialogue Commission that consists of 15 members that included civil society organizations, religious leaders and political actors. However, the opposition, who are currently in exile, raised concerns on the inclusivity and transparency the Dialogue Commission could bring that was formed by the President himself. We are uh, dialoguing with Burundians. We want to, we are looking for durable peace. Because since, since in 1961, uh, we have been in a crisis, crisis, killing, massacres, massacres, massacres. So some of the issues they, they are raising uh, as the cause of the, this crisis is the impunity. When we, uh, we have elections, there is a crisis, killings, and no one is punished up to now. As dialogue is seen as the only way out of the crisis, the Burundi government said it will not engage in talks with some opposition leaders whom it accuses of participating in the failed coup last year. This has brought uncertainty on the outcome of the dialogue. We have not to make prevail our preconditions, but believe that only dialogue can really help us overcome our crisis. Still, I believe that one make peace with his enemies, not with his friends. So it is a matter of one and another to consider what is the benefit of having that dialogue. And why, why do we have a dialogue? It is because we have a crisis. And among those who are involved in the crisis are those who managed to operate that aborted coup then one have to, to just wonder, why should people think about overthrowing the institutions? So uh, how can you know what was behind that if you cannot sit with them and listen to them? Businesses in Bujumbura have resumed, but this doesn't mean it's the end of the crisis. The inter dialogue is said to be relaunched in Arusha. Moses Javier Imana for Voice of America, Bujumbura.